Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sunday's Aselli. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you brought your permission slip. We are on the road. We are at Ilmore, back in Michigan today, and we are here. We are talking about the latest technology. These guys have got a high-performance gas engine they're bringing to the marine market, as well as this guy right here, the electric motor. So, got the guy here. He's going to tell us a little bit about it and walk us through it. So, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know what you do here. Sure. My name is Mike Lindbergh. I'm vice president of Marine at Ilmore. Awesome. So, Mike, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here with this ion motor. This is obviously way different than any other electric motor or any motor, really, that we're seeing out on the market right now, right? So what, what, are, we, what are we looking at with this? Sure. This is a six kilowatt unit. So it's pretty similar in terms of the power offerings today from Torquedo okay. and e-propulsion. The real difference here is that this is a, a very uh, different looking unit in terms of the aesthetics, as well as also this is the only unit under 10 kilowatts to have power tilt available as a standard option. Right, so this lower leg will actually tilt up just like on the big outboards, right? Totally tilt up out of the water. Uh, without having to go back and mechanically do that. So, so we can get it, we can keep the yep. running gear out of the water, keep the growth out of it if you're going to do this. That's Obviously right. with the smaller output, we're going to be looking at this for dinghies, small pontoon boats, things of that kind of, uh, smaller lakes, things yep, like that's, that, that's right? That's absolutely where we wanted to have it was really the pontoon market, electric only lakes, really getting that slow walk into the market. It's growing incredibly at this point. Right. So we wanted to be there as it opens up and make sure that we have an offering to the customer base. So talk to me, speaking electrical, everybody talks about different battery options and voltage. Where are you guys at with this? What kind of voltage, what kind of batteries? Are you agnostic? You know, yep. What do you guys yeah, do so for that? So this is a 48 volt system. It's running, it, we are um, battery agnostic. Oh, okay. So it, but it can run lead acid, lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate. For the most part, what we've done on the pontoon market is when we've done that testing has been lead acid. Oh, okay. It just fits to that clientele, that price point. Right. But price depending point. on what the customer needs, they can choose either of them. So if you're weight sensitive, we can ch start talking about changing up to different batteries, That's right. things like that. Obviously, 48 volts, we're able to keep the wire size down. Yep. That's going to be coming into this, right? So we're not, so our rigging is going to be easier. Yep. Yeah. Four, four 12 volt batteries, very easy, very common for right. the pontoon market. Market, plenty of space and um, yeah and if, if need be if you wanted to run them in parallel to get more range you're, you're welcome to do obviously it. increase your capacity yes. right and then this also has steering built in so you don't have to do tiller steering with this right as an not, option not a tiller steering it's it's only remote steering, only remote steering it's, so it's stand, perfect for the pontoon boat yeah yep. nothing fancy or anything there obviously you guys see the lights glowing on here they've got this thing set up right now so when it's running You've got this white light right here, so it lets you know that it's on kind of a safety aspect of it, right? Yep. But of course, you guys know me, you've seen any of my projects. I do a lot with LED lighting. I think this is kind of cool. They've gone ahead on here and they've got a color wheel and you can go ahead and change that color to whatever you want right there. They've also set up some other different things, you know, on this show display for charging. You'll hear it charging and you'll see it actually starting to charge up the battery and show as a graphical display on there. Right, and as you mentioned, so as you're running white lights for safety, obviously not interfering with any of the Coast Guard requirements, but then once you get to the sandbar and you want to have a bit more fun with it, you can get into some of the sandbar modes. And this can all be controlled through the dash where you get a bit more fun and the ability to show off the uniqueness of the product. Right, and there's, so you've got all your different options there as well to go through with that. So one of the last things is this doesn't appear to have a water pump on it, right? We're not dealing with any outside water sources, so if you did use it in a salt environment or a mixed water environment, it's still gonna be good to go, right? Yeah, totally capable from a corrosion standpoint with salt water, but to your point, no, no water pump because the motor is mounted underwater. Uh, we get passive cooling from the body of water that you're in, and therefore we're able to, to keep it cool. Keep it simple. So, yeah, it gets rid of parts. There's no gearbox in this either. So in terms of simplicity, it was all about making sure that it's custom built for this application. The motor is built so that it doesn't require a gearbox. Got it. So that gets rid of the NVH concerns as well. So really, really a, a proper fit for the market it's going for, for what it's what it's designed for. Yes. Awesome. So. The other thing we've got is this big purple monster hiding behind you right here. This is the high performance model for you guys, right? This is right. So yeah, really the opposite end of the spectrum here <laughs> from the six kilowatt all the way up to 630 horsepower, 665 
pound feet of torque. Wow. So big, big, it's LT4 based from General Motors Marine. Um, it's a, a derivative of the Mastercraft unit we have in the field right now, the, the high, the, it's the high performance, uh, high performance version for them. So this is a stern drive application. This and is a you guys drive. have a stern drive for this horsepower that can handle this, right? That's right. We have a we have a drive we introduced last year, a shorty drive, dual prop that fits nicely with this. Um, targeting really for this type of boat, west coast, west coast, go fast boats around ninety to one hundred miles per hour wow. with this product. Wow. Yep. Different gear ratios depending on the requirements there as well. And with this package, I mean, we're saying it's high performance, but I mean, we've all seen the memes putting LS in it or putting LT in it. That's what this is, guys. This is a tried and true GM yes. you know, block, right? Yep. This is the newer motor. It's aluminum, so it's much lighter, right? Yeah, and you can really great, good point. Really leveraging the General Motors side of it. They've done a lot of the durability for the automotive sector, and then we take it and then marinize it for the marine market and make sure that they can fit to a very different duty cycle. But yeah, all aluminum, aluminum block, aluminum heads. So really keeping the weight down, really looking at about uh, 400 pounds less than a comparable mercury in the same wow. class. And this is closed cooling, obviously, minus the headers. Yep. But we're dealing with closed cooling on here. We've got an aluminum block. And you guys still have a warranty. You're giving all this performance, but we're still getting a good warranty with this, yeah, right? Because as always, we try to stand behind the products that we build where we really look at from a customer perspective. We want to be very customer focused. So this product does have a three year, 100 hour warranty wow. associated with it. So similarly on the Mastercraft product, we've got a seven year, 1000 hour warranty. <laughs> so really always trying to, to push the envelope there because we stand behind what we do. Right, exactly. So. These are just two of the awesome products. If you guys are looking to do a repower on a boat or you're looking to do a new build on a boat, it's certainly worth checking into Ilmore and all of their options because you guys have obviously smaller motors down the size range here. Yes. This is the high performance. Um, you know, they've got a long history. This is not their first foray into the market. 20, 20 years or so, yeah, we're right? Actually just, we're hitting our 20 year mark this year. Uh, we started with V10s, uh, Dodge V10s at the time yep. um, in the high performance space and then uh, walked ourselves into the Mastercraft space. We build about 3,500 Mastercraft units a year. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're actually gonna, just about to hit a 35,000th engine in the market right now. Wow, so, so not new to this. This is, no. you guys are established, you yep. have service centers, people that take care of these motors, and they're a great repower option as well. Maybe you, you've got that performance boat with the IO and you're looking to boost it up and get a little more speed out of it. Why not drop an LT4 in there, guys, or a pair of them? And uh, if you guys wanna know more about it, reach out to us uh, down below or reach out to Ilmore. Yep. You guys do the social media thing and YouTube and all that? Yeah, it's all social media, but yeah, ilmore.com will take you right to where, where you need to go. Perfect. Well, listen, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. All right.